In this video, as promised, I'm going to show you my shoe collection. Sounds very like, oh my, come see my shoe collection. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, I might edit that out. Um, this is gonna be about my shoes that I've been wearing this fall. Here's the criteria. They're shoes that I've been wearing this fall, this fall here. They're still available for sale. I have a lot of other shoes I've been wearing this fall, but they're not available for sale. Like I have a pair of boots I've literally had since high school because my feet, they were size 10 in high school. They're size 10 now. Anyway, not gonna show you those. So these are the ones still available for sale. I'll link them below. I do have one pair of boots that only fits the criteria, criteria of still being available, um, but I just, just got them in. I haven't even been, been able to wear them in because they came in yesterday and I love them. I'm gonna start with those because they're so cute. They're by Steve Madden. The designer Mew Mew, Mew Mew. That's funny when you say it out loud, Mew Mew. Anyway, um, they had a boot, it's a buckle boot that is so, I just love it. I think it's so gorgeous, but it's like $2,500. Ain't gonna happen here. But luckily, Steve Madden, our old friend Steve, made his own version of it and it's still leather, it's a leather boot, it looks very similar, and I just ordered those, they just came in yesterday, and they are so cute. And that is the first boot I'm going to show you, and they are, last I looked, they were on sale. There's a brand, it's called Staud, or Stoud, or Stu I don't know, S-T-A-U-D, and I just feel like whenever they design their clothes, they're like, what would Anna like this year? What does she want? Well, she wants a shoe that is low heel. Should we know that she wants a shoe that is looks slimmer? It doesn't make her feet look even bigger than they are already are. And something kind of fashionable and stylish and made well. Let's make her this boot right here. And they made it and I love this boot. I went to a party the other night and it started at six and I didn't leave till 10 and I barely sat down the entire night and these boots were great. Never did I have any kind of foot pain or my feet hurt or anything like that. The heel is very small. I think it's probably like a one and a half inch heel or something. So you're not standing on stilts all night. It has a slim, um, it's not pointy, but it's like a slim kind of boot. Now I do have narrow feet, so I do actually think if, if you have wide feet, these might not work. I've worn them with my mini skirts. I've worn them with a dress. It's not often that I come across like a really, you know, elevated looking boot that I can wear for hours on end and it not hurt my feet. Now this boot I got either last year or the year before, but last I looked, they st are still out there available. It's by Sam Ed Edelman and it's a combat boot. <laughs> Super comfortable, flat shoe, no heel, and I went to Argentina back in August and I wore this one all over the place. We clocked like nine miles a day. That's how much we walked. And several of those days, or just several, we were only there for like four days, but a couple of those days were in these combat boots. They're just super comfortable, easy to wear. I wear them a lot of times with my ankle length jeans. That's what I did in Argentina too. So this one has really served its purpose. I don't wear combat boots every single day, but man, when I have needed a boot like this, this has really come through for me. At this point, I wanna briefly share with you our sponsor for this video, which is Bloomingdale's. Several of the items in this video are from Bloomingdale's. They're having a big sale right now. I believe it's a friends and family sale during the Christmas holidays. This cashmere sweater is from Bloomingdale's. It's by their brand, their Aqua brand, which I love. It's one of my favorite things about Bloomingdale's. The Aqua brand at Bloomingdale's has amazing cashmere pieces this year. They are very affordable for cashmere. This cashmere cardigan I'm showing you is also from Bloomingdale's. I love it with my high-waisted jeans. It's just such a cute, easy, casual top. The top that I'm wearing in this video is also from Bloomingdale's. It's by the brand Rails, which Rails, I've expressed to you guys before that I, it's one of my favorite brands of clothing. I just absolutely love them. And I love this little twofer top. I call it a twofer top because it's actually a sweater with um, sleeves. So it looks like I'm wearing a shirt underneath it, but it's really, I also love the button downs that Rails produce. They have a relaxed fit without being too oversized and easily tuck into my jeans. I do go one size up in these button downs. Don't forget to check out the Bloomingdale's sale they are having right now during Christmas time. I will link everything below in the description box and let's continue. A couple of ankle boots I will show you that we're still available at the planning of this video. Um, one of them is by Sarto, Franco Sarto. I didn't write the brand names down on my list, um, but it is a great boot. I have a 
bad feet like everybody else and I can't wear super high heels anymore and this one is perfect I can wear it all day long it does not hurt my feet I wear it it's like probably a two inch heel um, it has a square toe it's kind of patent leather looking well I guess it is patent leather because it's shiny leather and they're just super comfortable and they're cute they're kind I have the ones I do believe these come in several, several different colors but I have the one that's more of a burgundy color I just was really feeling that at the time another boot I have that's a more casual boot um, but you know it has its purpose in my life because sometimes that's what I need but it's by Nine West it's more of an almond toe it's a very casual boot but as an everyday boot this is one is this one is great another boot that I can just kind of walk around in all day they don't hurt my feet I don't have pain at the end of the day or anything like that and uh, just really great to go with jeans three more boots to show you I mean it is fall because we're wearing boots you know and so I have three more pairs this next one is a tall boot I was looking for a tall brown boot that I could wear with my dresses or midi skirts or that kind of thing and I wanted a particular color brown like I wanted I just wanted it to be more brown brown and I didn't want it to be this one I think it's by Nine West also but I love the color of it I love this color brown I just feel like it's so pretty this one is a little taller this is a boot that I could wear to a party for a couple of hours and we're all good but I would not be walking around doing marathon grocery sessions in this boot this one is like probably a three or three and a half inch I think it's a three inch heel actually it's not super tall it's got a little bit of a platform but um yeah this is one that for me personally I you know is I wear it out to dinner wear it out to a party and it's perfect for occasions like that another boot more recent purchase but it's by Vivea and it's their sock boot I got the one with a little red heel on it you don't have to get that they have solid colors and more traditional colors but I love this one because it's super comfortable I could wear them for a long time I just don't think I've never tried them but I don't think I would want to wear them for like walking nine miles over Argentina <laughs> like I did the combat boots. Okay, enough about boots. Um, let's throw in some slingbacks. I do live in Florida. I can wear slingbacks in the wintertime. My more recent slingback purchase, which, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. These are even lower. These are like a probably an inch heel. Like they're not very high and they're pointy-ish. This like a pointy but then a squarish toe very comfortable by Kenneth Cole and I love these they do so much to a very basic outfit they do come in other colors so I can see these definitely really working in the this fall and also I'll and also work during the spring as well so I got one from Nordstrom it was by naturalizer I think every time I've mentioned this I've said neutralizer <laughs> and for a slingback a pointy toe slingback this is quite comfortable so what I do with slingbacks and I've always put this down below in the description box but I have these little inserts that I put into a slingback because my feet tend to slide up towards the point of the toe which makes them a little bit more uncomfortable but when I put the little insert in there it makes it into my feet stay in place and it's great so this one has actually been really comfortable I'm not gonna wear it doing a marathon mile, three mile long walk. I don't know why you would in slingbacks, but if I'm going to dinner, if I'm going to a party, or if I just want to look a little nicer that day, it's a great shoe. I love the nude. I know it comes in black, but I've just really, really loved the nude. Speaking of pointy toes, um, I think in the past, you know, 20 years ago, pointy toes were the most uncomfortable thing. This time around, when pointy toes came back on the scene, became very, very big, I think designers were like let's make them a bit more comfortable shall we and a lot of them i have tried and even with my bunion and i got messed up feet too a lot of them i've tried have been way more comfortable than you could ever imagine vivea actually makes really comfortable pointy toe shoes i have a pair of flats by vivea which i can do and i have done marathon shopping sprees in vivea flats they did not hurt my feet they felt great i never had any pain i wasn't like oh i can't wait to take these off like they were amazing now i also have these uh, pointy toe heels or like a maybe a one and a half or two inch heel from the Vivea and I love these I've been wearing these a lot when I've like gone to church or I just want a pointy toe for that day these I'm not gonna go on a marathon running um, shopping spree or whatever these are more like I wear them to church or wear them out to dinner or wear them somewhere but I'm not going to go and run all my errands in these shoes I would definitely do it in the flats but not the heels um, but these have been very comfortable very comfortable for a pair of pointy toes my sneakers that I have been obsessed with, I just love these this fall, and it's my Adidas Sambas. So I have the Adidas um, Gazelle, Gazelle, Adidas Gazelle shoes. 
They're black that I was wearing before I got my Sambas. I love those as well, but my Adidas Sambas, they're the ones I've been going to. I wear them traveling, I wear them all over the place. I just feel like they, even though they're a sneaker, I feel like they look like elevated with a lot of my clothes. And I love them with like an ankle length jean. I can still do that because I live in Florida. <laughs> so my winters are not, you know, negative 30 or anything. Uh, they, are, they come in lots of different colors and I'm trying to hold myself back from buying other colors, but it, it might happen. I don't make any promises. I don't make any promises that I won't be rolling, rolling around in some pink or purple or I don't know green adidas sambas at some point because i really love these they're very comfortable i also love them as like my travel shoe like if i'm going to do a connection have to walk a lot i have two pairs of sandals i'm going to show you i know you're like why sandals anna it's fall but i'll tell you why in a second first pair of sandals is actually from amazon and i love these um i have a brown pair of like flip-flop heeled sandals that I wear a lot. They're completely out of stock, so I won't even mention them, but I wanted a black pair. And so I found, I tried on several pair, and the one that I ended up with is actually from Amazon, and it's just comfortable, it's easy to wear, and I've worn it a lot this fall, like with my leather pants, um, or my jeans because again, like we just have weird weather. It'll be 60 degrees and I'll need, you know, jeans and a top, but I don't really need to wear boots. I can wear like sandals. And so I've worn these a lot. I've worn them quite often and I have tried on a lot of other pair and a lot of these kinds of shoes, they feel kind of like, Ooh, a little wobbly, but these were actually very sturdy and comfortable. And I've, um, I've walked a lot in these and they have felt great. This next one is a designer shoe. <laughs> It is a Christian Louboutin sandal, and the reason why I got this, so I know I, I knew I needed another pair of nude blocked heel, block heel sandals, and this is a shoe that I go to, it's like a go-to shoe for me during the spring, even in the fall sometimes, but basically all year round, like when in doubt, I will wear a nude block heeled sandal. And I had one, but it, gosh, it is so busted. I've worn it to so many weddings, so many events, and they were four inches and they just were a little bit too tall for me to wear and not become really uncomfortable, you know, within a short amount of time. So this time around, I wanted to make sure that I got nude block heel sandals that I could wear, you know, were comfortable. They just did everything I wanted them to. I know they'll wear them a lot. I know they'll keep them for years. Like this is a good investment for me. So I went on a shopping spree and I ordered and tried on so many of these kinds of sandals. You name the brand, I probably tried their version of this sandal. And on a whim, and because I saw that Saks or somewhere was having a big sale for Black Friday, I ordered these from Christian Louboutin, and man, they are very comfortable. They're so comfortable. So I brought them to Miami for our 10 year anniversary in Miami, and I wore them to dinner. I wore them all over Miami. I mean, you know, they're like probably a three or three and a half inch heel, I think, and they are super comfortable. I was shocked at how comfortable these are, but I'm so glad I made the purchase because they're beautiful, they're very comfortable. These are a pair that I will wear for years and years. I would love to show you some other shoes that I have that I really love, but they're just sold out. And I don't want this video to be three hours long. I'm already probably gonna have to edit down a lot. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and you liked it. Um, let me know what your favorite shoes have been this fall or what brands that you really, really love. I love hearing about new brands that to try, especially when it comes to shoes because shoes are so hard to find that actually just fit you and your feet really great the way you want them to. So hope, hopefully this was helpful. Anyway, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a thumbs down if you didn't. And I will see you next time.